Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO. Today's training is on bank reconciliation. As you already have studied about bank reconciliation is all about as a theoretical part. As a table of content, we'll be looking after the overview on bank reconciliation, configuration steps and unit testing. Bank reconciliation, a process to ensure that banks, companies records are correct with that of banks records. In SAP, every bank will have three GL accounts. First, main GL, second, incoming bank account for all the receipts and third, outgoing bank for all payments. After the reconciliation process, the payment and receipt entries in the incoming and outgoing GL will be transferred into the main bank account or main bank GL. So exploring more, when the company receives its bank statement, the company should verify that the amounts on the bank statement are consistent with the amount in the company's bank account in its general ledger and vice versa. This process of confirming the amount is referred as reconciling the bank statement or bank reconciliation statement. The benefit of reconciling the bank statement is to know that the amount of cash reported by the company that is company's books is consistent with the amount of cash shown in the bank's records. Now moving on to SAP. In SAP system provides automatic as well as manual transaction reconciliation facility for all receipts and payment entries in the, uh, in the bank statement and company's bank book. In SAP system reconciliation process is known under two methods. One is manual reconciliation process and another is automatic manual, automatic process. After the reconciliation process, as said, the payment and the receipt entries in the incoming and the outgoing bank GL will be transferred to the main bank GL. And as a result of that, the balance in the main bank account will be equal to the bank statement account. The bank book balance shall be equal to the net balance of all the three bank GLs put together. Now moving ahead further, as we have already completed nearly the bank banking configuration in SAP and we have already went through the house banks, bank key, account ID, mapping configurations for automatic payment run and all. So you must have already seen and gone through that in SAP banking transactions are passed through bank sub account and main account. The process is dependent on the bank statement received from the bank that will be entered into SAP. Accounting rules are defined for each transaction type and posting rules on the basis of which the accounting entries are posted as per the bank statement. And bank statements will be uploaded into the SAP system. Now, when the bank reconciliation is done, the bank main account or the bank main GL account balance is the actual balance or should be the actual balance as per the bank statement whereas the bank sub accounts denotes the reconciliation items. The sub accounts 
is known as the incoming bank account and the outgoing bank account which holds all the open items and on the basis of which the reconciliation is done and ultimately the balances get transferred from the sub account to the main bank account. For example, let's take the example as in the normal cases when we make any vendor payment the journal entry which we make is vendor account is debited and the outgoing bank account gets credited as on the screen. Whereas when in case of receipt from customer incoming bank account is debited and customer account gets credited. When we do the banking reconciliation process in SAP what the system does is while doing the reconciliation the system transfers the incoming balance to the main bank account on the basis of the entry as on the screen where the main bank account gets debited and the incoming bank account gets credited so the incoming account on above on is debit and now it has been credited so it gets nullified and the balance gets transferred to the main bank account similarly it has been done for the outgoing bank where the balance get transferred for the outgoing bank to the main bank account but it depends upon the bank statement which has been received from the bank by the company. So the same we will be doing and we'll see how these configurations are done and after the configurations how defining the posting rules and all how reconciliation is done in the SAP system. So the, there are the configuration steps where the first is to create and assign the business transaction, define posting keys and posting rules for manual bank statement. This particular configuration steps includes four sub steps in it which includes creating account symbol, assign account to account symbol, create keys for posting rules and define posting rules and then define the variant for manual bank statement. Moving ahead, so this is the path we'll be moving to the configuration. The first step is to create and assign bank statements. So the path is IMG financial accounting new banking transaction. So let's move on to the SAP system and follow the path. So the path says SPRO enter SAP reference IMG then financial accounting new bank accounting we'll go to business transaction over here then payment transactions and then you can see the manual bank statement. So you can see how we reached we reached to the bank accounting financial accounting first then to the bank accounting then to business transaction then to payment transaction and then to manual bank statement and now we can see the create and assign business transaction that is the first configuration step so executing this so we'll be creating the business transaction and these business transactions are what decides that which particular business transactions or open items will be added to the main bank and which will be subtracted from the main bank. So we'll go to the new entries and suppose I create the transaction Z001 and Z002. The first one I take it as minus and the second one I take it as plus and I give them the name. The first is taken as a minus so it could be outgoing and the first, second will be incoming so this is depends upon the plus and the minus the minus means the that particular transaction will be will get subtracted from the main bank the amount it consists and the second one will be incoming bank which will be added incoming transaction which will be added to the main bank balance so this is what you need to do you need to create these two transactions once it has been done you can save it and your first configuration step is done. Moving back, 
Now once we have done this configuration step, we'll move to the next configuration step as per the screen. The second is defining the posting key and posting rules for manual bank statement. So the next step is defining the posting keys and the posting rules. So you need to go to the execute. Now over here we will be defining the rules on the basis of what the system will do the reconciliation process. So you need to select the bank chart of account 1000 enter. So over here there are a number of uh, account keys already defined in the system as you can see. So in account symbol we'll be creating symbols for uh, related to account which will be again uh, will be used in the later configuration parts. So we'll go to the new entries. So we'll be creating again the account over here. So suppose I use the same one. I will be creating Z000 then Z001 Z002. The first one will be related to main bank. So it will be named as main bank. The second was outgoing as you remember the last configuration step. And the third is incoming. So these are the three accounts which I have named and on the basis of this we will be doing the further configurations. So you can save it now. So now we can continue, save the configuration steps. Now move to the next step over here. You can see second one, double click on it. And over here we will be defining now the next. So the symbol we just created, account symbol Z000, Z001, Z. So the three account symbol over here. Now in the account modification will be assigning plus as a configuration part. That is what you need to take. You need to select the currency which uh, uh, will be used. So that is USD. So I think by mistake and it has been missed. Plus. Now one thing you have to take over here is that the first well it always continue in the GL account part. Certain things you have to take care. That whenever you create an account symbol the first one is a main bank. So whenever we create the three GL account for every bank or for every house bank you have to keep care of few of the things that the three GL account has to be in the sequence of the GL which has been assigned over here. The last digits would be 0, 1 and 2 for all the three GL account. The main account, the main bank should always have a last digit as 0. The outgoing should have a last digit as 1 and the incoming should have a last digit of 2. If you want to see the same thing you can go to your FBL3N and in this you can check your GL account you will find that the 3 GL which is used for the house bank is been defined in the same sequence. So as you can see in this, the last digit over here for main bank, city main bank is 0, outgoing bank has a last digit as 1 and incoming bank has a last digit has got 2. So whenever you create any bank or any house bank for that matter, it will consist of 3 GL account and the main bank should always have a last digit at, as 0 and the sequence should always be last digit as 0, 1 and 2 for main bank, outgoing and incoming respectively. So this is what you always need to take care. Otherwise you will your configuration steps for reconciling will go wrong. So this all that particular last digits are been taken up over here 
because of which we always create those in the sequence of 0, 1 and 2 as the last digit for main bank outgoing and incoming. So the main bank over here last digit is, is 0. You can see on, on the on the starting it will always will be there as a plus sign but the last digit is what matters over here. So this is one thing you which very carefully you have to take care of. The last is as 0 as a main bank, then 1 as an outgoing and 2 as an incoming part. So once you have assigned the account to the account symbol, this is what assigning account. When you assign this GL account over here as the last digit, this is what means the assigning the GL account or the bank GL account for against the account symbols. So now you can save this and your second configuration step is done. As you can see, the data was saved. Moving to the next step now is to create keys for posting rule. So now going double click on to create keys and you can see again the next screen. Now in this what we will be creating posting rule. So the posting rule either you can create as a new entry or even you can take as a as a, you can copy some some other as well and uh, that can be create, taken up over here too. So suppose I copy this two from over here select it RU01 and RU02 I am selecting it and then you can copy this and now in that I will be changing mine as Z001 for outgoing transaction and Z002 for incoming transfers. So this is what you need to do there is nothing else to do there is no background setting in this just I had copied you can go for new and you can just assign the same thing over here. So once you have done this, enter and now you can go and you can save this. So your configuration has been saved for creating keys for posting rules. It's simple. You can even go to new and you can create new as well. So the screen is as usual as you want to do or else you can just move to the next now. So this is what we have created. The keys you can even search those keys Z001 enter this is it there is nothing else in it now moving to the next is defining the posting rules so when you define the posting rules now over here there are certain things which you have to take care of go to the new entries So enter, keep on entering because they are certain which will create problem for you. So now creating the rule, we need to take the posting rule which we just created earlier. That is, uh, you can even search with F, which uh, with function for key, and out of these you can search your own posting rule which we created. That is Z001. So now over here we'll be deciding the posting rules, how the system will post the documents while reconciling. So this is very important part. So the first posting rule that is Z001, we need to configure. So Z001 is for outgoing transactions where the bank balance will get reduced. So you need to take the posting area over here as one. Then moving ahead, you need to take the posting keys for debit and credit. So for debit you need to take the posting account symbol. The account symbol over here will be Z001 So we'll select Z001 over here and here you need to take the posting key 50 and the account symbol over here will be Z000 that is main bank. So why we are doing this? We are doing this because when we make any outgoing payment the first transaction like vendor payment the entry will be the vendor will be debited and the outgoing bank will be credited. So when we do the reconciliation, the outgoing bank gets debited and the main banks now that gets credited. So this is what the outgoing 
symbol has been debited and the main symbol main bank symbol gets credited on the basis of this their GL account will be will be debited and credited as well so over here the account type you have to take a B and now the posting type you need to take 5 to clear the credit GL account so this is what you need to define for Z001 and now you can save it and your first posting rule is defined for the for Z001 okay it asks for the so basically you need to take it over here as 4 not 5 that's by mistaken you need to take 4 and now once that has been done you can enter and now save on the screen and you can say see the data already saved that means your rule has been defined for Z001 similarly you need to do for the Z002 as well going back now we can again go for a new entry now we'll be defining this for Z002 and the posting area over here will be again be 1 but now the posting rule will be that over here you need to take 40 and the posting symbol will be Z000 that is the main bank gets debited and then the incoming will be symbol will be credited over here that is what you need to take now over here as a document type you have to take AB and the posting posting type you need to take in this case is 5 so this is how you need to do the setting for the posting rules and once that has been done you can save it and you can see now the data was saved means your posting rule has been defined and your configuration steps has been done in this particular part so in this we have created four sub configuration step in this particular part that is defining the posting keys so we created the keys then we defined the posting rules for that and that has been done moving to the next step is defining the variant for manual bank statement so SAP has a standard variant as well but in case there is any requirement even the, then in that case you can have your own variant as well which can be created as per the requirements so how you can create those we can see that so now go back again one step back back onto the screen path so in this screen you can see now that we have completed the first that is create and assign business transaction then we have completed define posting keys and posting rules now we'll go for defining the vari variance for manual bank statement so you can select this execute now while creating the variant you can see there is a multiple of variants already assigned already created over here but you must note that SAP01 is the standard variant which is provided by the SAP software itself by default so what we'll be doing is we'll be taking this variant we'll copy this variant and we'll create our own variant for our own company code so let's copy this you need to keep the cursor on this part and then you can go to this screen over here as copy you can see copy shift plus 8 so you click on it so it asks you that from SAP01 two variant so which variant you want to copy this with so I will be taking it as 1200 to my company code so this will be a variant for my company code variant as similar now continue so it gives certain messages you don't have to do anything with that proceed further with continue so you can see there are number of things already in the current fields now there are certain things which are not needed by me so I can delete those fields as well and if there is any field which I would be needing from possible fields I can take those fields on this screen as well so in current field there are transaction value date amount document number customer match number foreign currency foreign currency amount so suppose I need certain banking reconciliations to be done for my own 
particular business for that particular country I don't need foreign currencies to be involved in that so what I will be doing is I will be deleting this foreign currency from over here so you need to put the cursor on that and then go to on this screen over here as delete field click on it and you can see it has been deleted so next foreign currency again I don't want that I want to delete that so again put the cursor on it and again you can go and you can click on to that and it has been deleted so you can see uh, in this way whatever is not needed you can delete those things the customer match code not needed I am deleting it so that's again has been deleted now these are the four fields which I need as of now is there any other field which I need from the system so that you can check with this possible fields if any field you need out of these you can take those fields from over here to on this side like uh, let's see page down so I don't need as of now but I need the posting no not posting date I need the business area suppose so you can double click on it and when you double click on it a new pop-up screen comes to you and that just you need to do is you need to select that continue and it will be added so you can see the business area has been added over here from this side it has been added over here on this side so as the any field which comes from possible fields to current fields you can see it becomes highlighted over here so business area has been highlighted because that has already been taken in the current field amount is already highlighted because that is over here on the current field document number is highlighted because that is on this on this side as a current field similarly if you need anything out of this possible fields which you want in the current field because these these are the current fields which will be displayed to you which need to be filled while doing the banking reconciliation things so in this way you can create your own variant as you want so once this has been done you can save it and once you save your variant is ready so once you have saved this now one important thing the variant has been created but as of now this is not activated yet to activate the variant you need to go on to this you can see over here this torch you need to click on to activate the variant if you don't click on this your variant will not be available for usage so click on this particular part and this will activate your variant and you can see now the variant 1200 was activated so now it has been activated you can again save it now we can use this particular variant so this is how your configuration works so now we are done with the configuration steps and now we'll be moving ahead and we'll do certain banking reconciliation so how that can be done the unit testing that is to do the banking reconciliation the transaction code is FF67 and to display the bank line items it is FBL3N so now let's move and first we will check the bank balance FBL3N so what I will be doing I will be doing the bank reconciliation for my one of the house bank so the company code 1200 my bank account are these three because you already said that every bank will be having three GL account so for my house bank city that is city bank has got three GL account one zero 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 one zero one zero 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 one one and one zero 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 one two so this is what the three I have taken from into range and now I'm executing this just to check that what are the balances available in these GL account so you can see in this screen now that the main bank has got a balance of one zero five one five zero the outgoing bank has got a balance of one four one zero one zero and similarly the incoming bank has got a balance of 3150 so when we do the bank reconciliation what happen is certain transactions get cleared from the outgoing and the incoming and it gets moved to the main bank 
depending upon those particular transactions has been taken up in the bank statement as well or not so let's see how we can go for the banking reconciliation the transaction code for bank reconciliation is ff67 so now going to ff67 enter we can go on to this screen as you can see so on this screen now you need to go to your setting over here specifications first so as to select your variant which you just created you need to go to this setting on the top specification click on to this so once you click you will find that your variant is over here but you need to select your variant so to select your variant you need to go to this start variant F4 and you can see your variant is over here as 1200 double click on it and now your variant is selected you can continue okay so now my variant is selected now I need to put my company code I need to put my house bank so my house bank as you remember I hope because you already have completed the house bank part as a banking transactions so you need to take the city bank of city over here then the account ID as AP next we will be taking the statement number so now we are doing the first banking statement upload for bank reconciliation for city bank we need to take the statement number as 01 now you have to put the statement date on which date you are doing the reconciliation suppose I take as 30 112014 and then you need to take the opening balance and the closing balance so the opening balance means the opening balance of the main bank so the main bank is 100010 its opening balance means the balance which is reflecting in its account before reconciling the things so you need to take this particular balance from over here and you need to paste it over here so this is your opening balance so your closing balance will depend upon the number of transactions you will be putting it suppose I take the transaction over here as suppose I take it as this 40,000 as a final payment so 40,000 is in minus you can see in the negative sign so that means the opening balance is 105 and 40,000 added will make the balance now 145150 I need to put the negative sign on this as well now you need to put the posting date as well so when we are doing the bank reconciliation what the system does is system post clearing transactions from sub account that is the incoming and outgoing bank to the main account so those particular transactions or the documents will be posted at which posting date so that is the date we will be taking over here so I will be taking it as 30 11 2014 as usual so once you have taken these things now enter on the screen double again enter so as of now I have taken only one particular transaction that is this one for the bank reconciliation if we will add further in that case more things can be taken up so now over here the business transactions need to be taken so if you remember in the configuration we created the business transaction as Z001 for outgoing and Z002 for incoming so for outgoing I will be taking Z001 that is what I have selected we need to select the business value date so what is the value date I don't know so to know that I have to go to the layout and have to select the value date over here need to search the value date from over here so you can see the value date is there on this I will take this from over here to here okay so you can see the value date is reflected to you over here on this screen 
So over here the value date for this transaction is 15-11-2014. So that is what we will be taking as over here 15-11-2014. We need to take the amount as well. So the amount of this particular transaction we are taking is 40,000. So it is 40. So again in that you, you, you need to take care that you put a minus sign on this otherwise this kind of an error will be reflected to you. Whenever there is an outgoing payment that means a negative payment you always need to put a dash at the end of the amount. So as I have put it over here. Enter. Now we need to put the document number also against which the reconciliation is done. So the document number is 1500110013. So this is the document number that also we will be selecting and we will paste it over here. So this is what in the same way you need to select those documents. If the documents are more than one, there will be obviously whenever you will be doing a bank reconciliation, there will be number of open items to you and those has to be to be up, updated over here on the screen and then the opening balance and the net balance of these open items should give you a closing balance the summation of that and that closing balance is the closing balance which we have put up on the outside initial screen so that is something which you need to do the excel work in excel you need to calculate all those things that what is the opening balance in the main bank what are the different open items which will be done for the bank reconciliation and then what will be the closing balance at the end so that is the closing balance which I have taken up over there as an example so once you have done this now entered on the screen you must have to take care that the initial amount this was 40,000 negative should be equal to the amount entered so this entered refers to the amount which we have entered on the screen over here just now and the amount which over here is reflected is, is the difference between the opening and the closing balance which we have filled on the initial screen. So these two must match to each other. If it doesn't match to each other that means the process will not proceed further because it will not get all the uh, transactions related to the bank. So once this has been done now we can go and we can save it. So once you have been saved, so now once you have saved, you will see the message over here statement oblique list saved. You need to save it again. So need to save twice. So now once we save it again, you will see that it gives you a screen over here and the screen says there is an error over here on this part. So there is an error in this. So how to analyze the error? That means there is something wrong because of which the reconciliation cannot be done for this particular transaction. So to analyze that we need to go to the transaction in a new screen. We need to a new transaction now that is F E B A N. In case there are errors we need to go and follow this particular transaction code entered you need to select the company code you need to take the house bank that is city the account id that is ap and now we can execute this so once you execute you will find that there is an error over here on this one particular transaction so this is the only transaction which we just posted so that is what the same transaction is over here so to post this transaction and to complete the reconciliation you need to go over here select this particular part this over here and then you need to go to the statement item on the top and you need to click on to the post option over here so that this particular reconciliation document will be posted and your reconciliation will be completed so statement item post so once you go to post what the system does is update completed let's deprocess it again 
selecting the opening balance and running the transaction again enter now we have selected this particular document and the amount as set is matched you can go to save once and as said we need to save it twice so again I have saved it and now we can see the status has been updated that now FB051 has been posted so now there is no error no error is there you can see the document 1000033 was posted in the company code 1200 so this is how you need to do the bank reconciliation at times it may give you certain error and in those cases you need to execute those particular transaction again and it it works so it does happens at times and if it doesn't works then you have to work around it why that particular error coming up so right now it's been working and all the configuration are is in place the same way you have to do this and now we have done the bank reconciliation over here and now we can go back to our balance bank balances and we can check now whether the balance has changed or not so this is the same screen which we just executed for bank balances now what I will be doing is I will be refreshing this particular bank banks these all the three bank GLs and we'll see what are the balance changes have taken place so you can see this we have taken this particular transaction for our bank reconciliation and we'll see that this now will move from over here from green to the uh, from red to the green item as clear item and the this much amount of 40,000 negative balance will get updated to over here so now going to list refresh and now you can see the change so the balance have been cleared but it seems it has not been updated on the screen so So it has not yet been clearing has been done okay now let's go back I think we are running the report wrong what we have done is we have done the banking reconciliation on 303011 so we have to run this particular report on 3011 30th of November now we can execute this report and we can see the change in the balance so you can see the main bank balance has been updated with the closing balance which was there in the bank reconciliation part and that particular transaction which we have done the reconciliation with has been moved out from this red so it has moved out from the red to the green that is the clearing item because that transaction is complete its purpose is basically to get the balance transferred from the sub account to the main account and it has been transferred over here this is the transaction which has been moved from this to this so this is how you need to do the bank reconciliation same way for the rest as well suppose we move back again and we take some more transactions again we will be doing one more reconciliation FF67 select the company code take the house bank account ID now the statement number will be 02 because the last statement we, did, uh, we processed was 01 and now we can take the date as suppose again I am taking 30 11 2014 and now the opening balance will be your closing balance and now the closing balance will change and it will depend upon the number of transactions we will be taking so what we can do is we can do certain calculations in the excel file so let's do certain calculation the opening balance now is this much so for excel calculation I have to take this sign off now what I will be doing is we will be taking certain more transactions so as to give it more live practical feel that we are doing something like bank reconciliation so suppose I take these certain transactions from over here to this screen these are all outgoing transactions
and suppose we take certain incoming transaction as well So for the incoming transaction we have got only one particular transaction that is of amount 3150 so suppose I take this transaction over here now what will be the closing balance the closing balance over here will be these all will be plus so let's make it a plus Okay. So now the total outgoing balance is this much 246 is negative because already the opening balance was in negative and now this plus this is equal to your closing balance that is around this 243,000 negative. So this is the closing balance which will be taking over here as your closing balance 23000 okay 243 243000 minus sign over here enter so now we need to do the transactions posting for this much amount so you can see as we put the closing balance there and entered it took you to the next screen again and you can see already the bank is showing over here is 97,850. So this is the amount, the gap amount, the difference between the opening and the closing balance. And, and this much amount of transactions we need to fill on this bank statement item on the screen. So first we'll be taking the outgoing, that is 1001 for outgoing. Okay. We need to fill this first. So let's move to the screen over here. We need the value date as well. So we need to go to the layout to have the value date. So I took the value date over here. So now we'll be taking over here the first one is 22-11-2014 as a value date. The amount over here is 1000 negative then we can move to the next again the next one is 1511 <coughs> the amount is 20,000 now what we can do next is we can move to Z001 because if you move to the Excel we have got one two three four transactions for outgoing <coughs> sorry so we need to select four transactions for the outgoing let's select it control Y then we can select this over here onto the SAP screen value date you can also select the amount This is the amount. Now also we can select the document number. So the document number over here are first four. So all four have been taken. And now they can be copy pasted over here. So these are the first four which are the outgoing transactions which have as per the Excel file you can see. Now we can go to the incoming file, incoming transactions. For the incoming transaction, the transaction code 
we created was Z002. The value date for that is 1511. The amount is 3150. Okay. The amount is this much and the document number is this much so I took these all over here and now these are the negative items because these are payment and this is in positive because this is an in incoming for the for the company now we can enter and we'll see that these balances should be equal to this much so when you enter on the screen it gives you that the net balance entered is this much now which is equal to the bank balance that is this much 97,850 so once these all entries have been taken up over on the screen now we can move on to the save option and we can save it so once we have to save it over here then again we need to save it twice so as to get the transactions posted and the clearing can be done and the main bank balance can be updated so again we can go to save and you can see now the balance have been updated and you can see in this case the transactions have been updated over here on this screen but yet there is is there any error no so now we can go back and but yet there seems to be any some point of it. okay so now we can see that as we refreshed the screen the balances have been updated in the Citibank main account and now the balance is matched with the closing balance which we did in the bank reconciliation account and even if you check the outgoing and the incoming account you can see below that the outgoing bank has left with only one item of 10.27 US dollars and the incoming is not there that means the incoming account has no open item left in it so this way whenever you do the bank reconciliation the balance gets updated from the sub account that is the outgoing bank and the incoming bank to the main bank as you can see these were the transactions which were been transferred from the incoming and the outgoing bank to the main bank if you remember these are the transactions which we have put up over there when we were doing the bank reconciliation in the system so this is how you need to follow the bank reconciliations now the balance which is reflecting over here to you that is 243,000 dollars this is your balance of bank balance as per the company's account and this is the bank balance as per the bank account should be matched with so this is how you will be doing your bank reconciliation in the SAP system and this is basically the manual bank reconciliation process there is an another process of electronic bank statement which is an automatic process but that process is a slight lengthier because a lot of steps are needed and even it is needed to be tied up with the bank as well so you need certain codes from the bank which has to be put up in that so that the electronic bank statement can be done because in that you need the bank statement from the bank and that particular file is uploaded in the SAP system so we cannot go in that particular electronic bank statement reconciliation process but basically this is how the, the things work it's work in the same way as the manual bank reconciliation works but it is just a slight automated that's it so that's all for the bank reconciliation part this whole comprises your banking sub module in the SAP FICO module and you can go through this thank you